I see it's counting up. Uh, All right, we're calling it to order. And just, just, just a quick uh, executive session, just for a couple of minutes. I think I'll deal with that later. All right, call order at. Um, my watch is saying six fifty nine, but that's saying seven oh two. Audience of citizens, uh, there are none in attendance, so we'll dispense with that. Approval of minutes. Um, we got okay. these. Can we? I'm sorry. Al Garcia said he wasn't going to come. He sent an email, so we need to seat somebody. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't really have a little point. Who was here last? Sorry. Who was here last? All right. In the absence of Al Garcia, um, regular member, well, seat Bill, so call me. And we also have Liam is in attendance. So both all minutes are here. Thank you very much. Approval of minutes. The um, pages. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Okay. Motion made by Tom Lasker. Second. Second. Thank you, Bill. All those in favor, aye. 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 Contrary, my name. All right, new business. Uh, I mentioned both of them in two topics in, on the new business before, but I, I wanted to take a vote today on the first item, which is probably the most uh, important item to us right now. It's my highest priority. It's the uh, 20 inch concrete pipe replacement from Deming Road to Fort Woodlawn. Um, just a quick story of that originally was indicated as being a cast iron pipe. Uh, and then we had also plans and showing that there was a, there was a concrete pipe. Concrete pipes generally not used anymore. They're problematic, hard to fix. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, one of the times I had, we sent out notices to four companies that had done work with them in the past and none of them replied back. So uh, I know I. Talk to my yes, I, I, contacted, I gave you a name. I contacted him also, and he didn't offer me any information. They don't do work like that. But to tell you the truth, I contacted Brendan Smith with uh, the, the uh, permit that you mentioned. Give him a call. Yeah, he didn't have most, most concrete pipes are basically a larger, and usually can be taken out of service to be realigned in some fashion. Uh, this one can't be taken out of service. Uh, it's problematic. We do have uh, several projects that will be along the way on the Bowen Turnpike. So uh, I'm looking for a replacement. Interested in taking a DWSRF loan, which we drink some water state involved in that. But my first uh, attempt with this, because I've never done this before, although I ran the program years ago, I didn't do it in this particular perspective. Uh, the uh, Application has been submitted. There's what we call a preliminary engineering report. Uh, we had town council approval for uh, uh, the uh, design through Lennart Engineering. Lennart's in the process of designing the system. We would then go to bid hopefully sometime uh, in summer or late summer with the uh, completion date sometime by the end of the year. So what we're looking for is, uh, is a an approval to go forward with this uh, project. Now, that doesn't mean uh, right now that it would go. Uh, it still has to go through town council and board of finance. Uh, it would be a low interest loan for 20 years. The cost to the customers is probably in the vicinity of about seven bucks a quarter. Uh, and then uh, maybe $9 a quarter. If, and I'm hoping to get uh, buy in from uh, where they could fire district, then that cost would go down to about $7 per quarter. So. It, it's an important phase uh, for our uh, system. Uh, it basically would be replaced with a 16 inch ductile line. The 20 inch concrete pipe was in, and it's an oddball pipe because it has several valves in it that are 12 inch constraints. Uh, and one was put in right by our pumping station on the Burlington Turnpike. The other one was put in, I don't know if anybody remembers Serrano Restaurant, right where the Serrano Restaurant smells. No Serrano. Serenos? Yeah. Okay. Well, basically, they're no longer there, but there was a right. valve that went off to their to their uh, area there. 
So um, I'm looking for a vote for approval of this project to go forward. Uh, it still has several issues to go through the process, uh, but I would need to fully form a vote from you. Any questions? Is anybody else that's going to be involved? Uh, as I mentioned, Worthington Fire District might be. I'm going to try to get the. Well, that's a might be. Well, it might be. You know, but regardless of whether they are, it's always the same issue. We but I do it. Yeah, I, I can't break their arm. What percent this? Uh, where did the uh, water flow through? We would do it based on on kind of this. Oh, group uh, probably 80, 90 percent of it. Well, but compared to Pearl. How much is uh, let's have to say we, we we have to, we would do it based on the number of customers because okay. flows are a little bit. All right, but anyways, customers. Well, they have twelve hundred customers. We have 20, 20, 71, almost twenty one hundred. Uh, this is the other thing. It's true that along this line, we we anticipate almost another three hundred customers. Uh, so it is imperative that we do fix it. We fix it right. Yeah, yeah, of course. It looks like. Or they just what one third of the world is two thirds. So, so everybody that drinks uh, or the water goes to is that why? Predominantly, yes. So, I'm I'm gonna, gonna, they have no choice then. They've got to sign it. Well, I, I, I haven't forced the issue, but yes, I'd like to think so. Cool. We're going to be billing them their usage of water. You know that goes through it, right? Yeah. It's, I mean, if we're, if we're building our company, new, I haven't done this just yet, but yeah, that's what I anticipate doing. If you're going to be building the customer seven dollars a quarter for the new piping, they're a customer. They should be part of that seven dollar billing. I agree with you. Good. I mean, you know, at the moment we still have two two bond issues on our water bill right now that we haven't paid. Well, two deep loans. Yeah, yeah, two yeah. people. Yeah. Now you're asking for a third. This is a drinking water loan. Doesn't make any difference. It's, it's still coming on the bill. No, I can't wait to put it. I understand. We're going to have to pay for it. Right. There's, there's quite a few new customers coming on board that, that they will need. Hey, Who gets in 300 customers? Is that a cut for us? us? That's one of the other reasons I want to do this because. Uh, while the opportunity is there. Not doing it strictly on the customer, though. So I don't want you to imply that this is just for them, for them because this is a, this is a particular system that I don't think will be useful to us long term. If it breaks, we we all have serious problems, uh, and that's my concern because I don't have. I've, I've contacted several people, the gentleman that you represent, and also like NBC. NBC has the luxury of taking a pipe out of line. I mean, Britain, who's done some work, also did it on their raw water, raw water line, so it didn't impact it. This is on our major line, Berlin Turnpike, and it's uh, it's over designed. And the reason it's over designed was it had nothing to do with the system. It had to do with MR, say, Apple, or your bus, or whatever, because the five pumps which are sitting here at Woodlawn uh, should be no longer useful to us, are basically mothballed. So it's a tank, makes sense. It hasn't been used in over the years. So that to me is a little bit of a Rather than going into the distribution system, improving the distribution system for that leg, because that's an important leg for a system. So when was this constructed? 1967, 68, I believe, something like that. It was one of the first lines coming through. So we at this moment we don't know what the total cost is. Yep, yeah, it, it'll be well, about 1.6 million. 1.6 million. Yep. That's the estimated cost by the consultant. The consultant has to provide to provide that they would get some preliminary engineering report for the health department. That's what that entails. Is there any uh, estimated lifespan on the system? Dr. Lyon, you're talking at least minimum 50 years or more. I mean, the concrete. Oh, no. Well, both of them, know. actually. We don't know what the circumstances are of it because the concrete, uh, when it lets go, it lets go catastrophically. Basically, the, it has uh, concrete, but it also has a wire winding. If that wire winding is deteriorated in any fashion, it just goes off. 
Okay. Yeah. My place now. <laughs> and then the other the other issue here is this. Uh, it's a 20 inch line. It's restricted in two places by 12 inches, which doesn't make any sense. And then add to that factor if if any of these developments came in off an eight inch line to a 20 inch line, we we, we don't feel comfortable with that at all. Uh, we're afraid that it would go boom. You can't realign this. No, relining it one it would require we're taking it out of service. We can't take it out of service. And relining it would then reduce the diameter a little bit, but then uh, it also the epoxy coating. Uh, like on, in, in terms of sewage, we don't drink the sewage, so I don't really care if there's any epoxy like, like, uh, releases of like, uh, VOCs or whatever. But in a water, I really wouldn't want to do that. There's, a, there's indications that the leachate may be a problem, and that wouldn't want to take that risk. And duct supplying is the um, is the key. The only thing that gentleman gave me as a uh, as a tip was to go to a different schedule uh, from a, uh, in, in ductile iron, like a lot of other things in, in plastic pipes as well. Goes from different schedules. The schedule fifty two is the smaller one. Schedule fifty six has got the little thicker. That's, think that's, the, well. that's the one I probably go for because this is the main line for like distribution ways, um, and it really the it, it would be consistent because uh, from woodlawn all the way to um, all the way to lamentation tank is a 16 inch line. Then it goes down to a 12 inch line by uh, Worthington Point, yeah. and then then it gets reduced to eight inch line. This and then that, that's ridiculous because at the, the end of our system uh, to connect it to Merritt, it would be an eight inch line. That's not that's not acceptable. It was originally designed by uh, designed by uh, Rod Hewitt. And it was supposed to be a 24 inch line. Never happened. So how would this like physically be installed if you got to keep the current one running? Would it, yeah, would it be set on top of that? That's what keeps me worried. The concrete, one? the concrete pipe we would leave in place. It doesn't try to take it out. Right now, there's technically only um, three customers on that line. Apparently, the uh, Little motel behind the gas station up on the front gets it from Denning Road. So the red, uh, the blue lobster, and the uh, the building next door are the only two customers that I know. Of. And then there were two buildings on the other side of the uh, Brook Brook River um, that have been demolished. Uh, remember there are two, uh, well, I think the Ray's Ranch is there. Um, they they've been demolished, but their their connections are they're still there. So. That would be a problem at all. So, so the ABC, really ABC, ABC and those places that are just north of Woodlawn are ABC not connected. ABC apparently is connected off of, this is a little bit strange to me, off of Worthington Fire District. I'm not sure how that occurred. Why that occurred. You coming in the back way from Woodlawn? I don't know. It shouldn't be their customers, should be ours. It's apparently served by them. It's in our Does district. anybody know where the line is? <laughs> that line, I'm not certain. No, we don't. So I, I can't tell you that. So we can go back to Wayne or, or Charlie, and they don't know either. No, no, it's, it's, it's speculation about where we do. How do we find out? Well, um, when the time divining comes, the time comes, we're going to have to find out because we're going to have to give us the information so we can make connections. There. There's a meter pit right underneath that big sign here when you go off to. Uh, uh, on the freight uh, right about there, Ocean State. So right there is a meter pit. So right there, there's going to be another connection. And then we would leave the connection going down to the pump station. Uh, that's a 20 inch line. Just leave it there, and eventually, if, if necessary, we have a well down there. We have a well down in Woodlawn on the other side of the tank. That's um, it's got a safe yield of about two thirds of a million gallons. Yes, I guess some VOC is it's, it's it's been great up for VOCs back when Peter was his chairman, right? Yeah, um, but it was uh, it was extensively tested because I was at the health department at the time we asked them for yeah. not only a five day but a fourteen day test. So it's a pretty pretty uh, solid yield. Problem was the quality. So. Any other questions? To get back to you, Tom, um, it's not something I. Prefer to do, but on the other no, hand, but we ought to at least I don't have a commitment. Well, 
I won't be on the commission if we ask them for commitment and they actually give it to us. Well, then that's your choice. No, no, I'm going to no, try. Right. So don't get me wrong. I'm going to try, but I don't necessarily. Don't hold your breath. Yeah. Right. That's, that's what, what I mean. Tell you. <laughs> well, hey, maybe we can charge them more. What are we charging for? Well, right, right now. I, right now, I, what are we charge? I asked you specifically when we were going into fire charges. Now, fire charges are probably the, the going thing out there because I've been on a couple of. I'm a board member with the Connecticut Waterworks Association, and one of the high items I have on there is fire charges. These are charges that the utility charges to other industries and you know, other providers. So, for instance. Uh, in this case, if it were worth it or anybody else, you would charge them a fire charge for it. NBC does it to us. A booster station uh, right across the street from Taco Bell, they've charged us an extra. I had nothing to say about it. I called them up and said, what's this extra charge of $500 a month? It's a fire charge. So if that's if that's the situation, then maybe just be past uh, an additional fire charge for it. It's good. I guess so I'll bring I'll it back, to, back the, to my original I'll question. Bring it back to the table, and then we, maybe we should make the fire charge instead. Of what we supply water to them as as a supplier, correct? Right. Not yes. What do we charge them? We charge them the same basic rate that we charge our customers. So $4. they're paying the four dollars and fifteen cents per the four fifteen, right? For yes, for hundred cubic feet. Okay. Yeah, well, they got. They but this is from a little bit different because this is not a capital cost. Because this is an additional fee. So we got leakage problems that are going into the sewer that we're not, they're going off their billing on what they get, not how much that MDC is screaming at us because we're over, we've got leaking lines coming in. But the sewer not passive. Not not passive. Yeah, passive. Yeah. So yeah, there, might be screaming. I don't know that. Yeah, yeah. They're but, supposed to be working on for the meters that they put in for water purposes. Yeah, but, that, yeah. But that's but, not been accurate. No, that's no. Not well, you got leakage before this. Well, so that, that's in the sewer. Well, yeah. leakage is actually it's came to the conclusion that the leakage is actually less than what they are actually paid for those meters. Yeah, but I, I, which is weird. But I think the leakage is a problem typically. Um, and I, I think from the utilities I spoke to. Most of them, when they have a connection, go through a meter. They don't have just a valve that shuts off between two systems and just turns on, on, and off. We found, and it was uh, this kind of interesting. Last September, I think it was or October, um, my person asked me. Uh, I don't know how this circumstance occurred, but it occurred at Woodruff over by across the street on the Berlin Turnpike where uh, uh, Mickey Finn's is. There was a valve open there. And there were and there was thousands of gallons that were going that were not recorded in any fashion. Uh, so I mean, and, and everybody claimed that it was closed. Well, it wasn't closed. It was, it was that much pressure going through there. There was water going through. Do we know where the water was going? Into the where they did fire district. From us on the 16th line. And we. So my 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 thought down the road though is I I think we need to solve that problem is that every connection should have a meter. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's the only way because every, I, I was thinking about this time and time again and I always see that there's a even if we, you would think the valve is closed it may not be closed it may not necessarily right. be functioning and it could be leaking it could be so erroneous assumption. Yeah. And, um, and interestingly enough, we just had a major main break here last night uh, over on Christian Lane, which is not just for a loop too, because it was kind of a coincidental that we were having work on our RPZ valves, and and for some reason the break occurred just right after we finished working, which is similar to the case with Worthington had when they when they have a line break over on Lower Lane, they had work done over on the Circle Drive in Lower Lane. These are duct iron pipes. These are the better pipes that they had longitudinal cracks in them. That's defective, isn't it? I I wonder about that too. That's the possibility of being been detected. Well, so in the old days, they spun it and it left a thin spot. I think you've mentioned that once before. Yes, I think that might have been a circumstance. They were all the same vintage, so there's a possibility. And that the, that, the, the that, pressure, the pressure, it's easy to see. The pressure gradient on that might be enough. 
across the park. Like, like the weeks, but was it being checked? Did it be checked afterwards? Be checked, we didn't check. I mean, did it was it investigated where it actually you could see whether it was a defective pipe or not a defective pipe? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you would do that. That was so. But I said it can be seen. Yeah, you cut it in half. You cut it in half and take a look at it and see if it was. I, I, I don't know if they actually looked at it by saying that. They finished at 3 a.m. I don't think there's any the pipe. Why not? As it was, it was terrible because when they made the connection, the connections leaked. But they had to shut the system down. Supposed to put it again and fix it. And it leaked again and they fixed it. So it was, uh, it was problematic. And I was there. Viewing it for the poor guys, and this is good weather actually. So, the thing is, and then the leak you could see it traveling, and then the more pipes exposed, the more linear flow you could see coming through that uh, line. So, pretty interesting. But that was that was replaced. I'll have pictures for you next time. Where was it? <laughs> this was on Christian Lane, right across the street from the crematory. Okay, virtually almost outside the driveway. There's a crematory down there. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be a little dark down factory when it's a cemetery. Not anymore. So. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, so I, I, I'd like a vote on this because this is the most likely candidate for this project to go forward. Um, as I said, it's still got a long ways to go. It's because it still had requires a town council approval and board of finance approval. Any chance of getting the state money on grant? Uh, I, I'm thinking of there might be a slight chance on, and hopefully possibility through um, a federal money yeah, because uh, I was talking to the guy from the health department and he thinks that there may be an, other, an insurgence of additional funds going in. If the infrastructure bill goes through it, there might be some grant money that would be helpful too. That's uh, that's the first item for one. So I think a few. Well, it seems like we have some. Checking to do and things to do to, before it gets done, but we can entertain a motion to initialize said negotiations. Well, I need a motion for, to proceed. I guess. Proceed. Make a motion to proceed. Motion bearing. Second. Second it. Second it with Jim. All those in favor, aye. 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 Contrary, minds nay. Okay, that's moved. Okay, uh, 4.2 is also a drinking water state revolving program, but a very low um, or lower on the priority list um, Meriden connection. Uh, I mentioned this quickly in several meetings in the past. The Meriden connection, we're only um, 2,000 feet from the Meriden line. Unfortunately, uh, as I mentioned too, we go to an 8 inch line here, we would be looking for the 12 inch line. So we'd have to. Uh, Worthington Point all the way to uh, North Collins, so uh, Silver Island Way. Um, that I'm looking at also that of the potential for next year. Uh, I'm not looking for a motion on this as yet because it's, 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 it's or I don't I just want to go through it. We're also looking at a drinking water seat Robbie Mo program uh, fund for this one. This is going to cost about 1.3 million. And there's a couple reasons for this. Uh, this particular one, it turns out that the, the radiant pressure from Buried in is such that we would not need a pump station. We would just need a meter station. Uh, they potentially would also be able to purchase water from us so that we would make the meter station large enough to pump those to get emergency conditions. We have no mechanism to take the, our lamentation tank out of, out, of, out, of, uh, uh, out of the distribution system operation. We found this out when we were doing the painting of the tank out of the exterior. And so um, the tank itself, and uh, we're, we're getting a second opinion, and we're going to have divers go down into the tank and double check on the corrosion that's occurring. There's corrosion on the base of the tank, there's some corrosion at the exterior, interior tank, uh, which is minor to me, but anyway, that, that isn't just the bigger issue. The, the corrosion on the base of the tank is the most important part. And not having the tank out of service means that we would not be able to do the Preventative measures to, to protect the, the tank. So the Meriden connection would definitely be something I'd be looking at next year. Um, and preliminarily, the engineering they also gave us a separate report from the health department. And the, the final 
was. Uh, Has Merritt made any overtures? Yeah, um, well, we, uh, we, we've discussed it with Meredith and they're aware of it. Uh, we've looked at other options. We've looked at uh, quite a few other options. We looked at a middle time connection, the second tank, and the Meredith energy connection. The Merritt energy connection came out to be 1.3 million. First, it is uh, the, the middle time connection at 2.1 million, uh, potentially. And the second tank would cost 2.1 million. So both of those options were kind of taken off the table. Um, we would look at a meriting connection possibly next year. That's more FYI than anything else at this point in time. The uh, going into old business, uh, nothing new to report on the filling steps that you can work in at this point in time. Uh, also, nothing new on the West Lane project that's basically status quo. Nothing's occurred. Um, Madam Bassett, as you heard last time, uh, John Dunham was here. I mean, uh, Zoom and Art Simonia and addressed this. Um, they, they in turn decided to send a letter uh, back to, to Deep. I didn't think too much of the letter in terms of the, uh, it didn't name anything. It didn't name us. It didn't name the districts. It did nothing. It just said that there should be more monitoring. But I didn't see that as creating a sort of no enforcement language whatsoever. No, none whatsoever. I I, um, I voiced my disappointment with uh, Art, but uh, I thought he was at least going to talk about what was physically done by the district by ourselves. So he just said, well, during the conversation, in effect, we had this conversation the other night at the meeting. That conversation had occurred. The subject matter of that conversation had occurred numerous times prior to even it showing up at our meeting. Yeah, and then, and then the following week, I believe it was, he was on the town council agenda, April 6th. He was on the agenda and he did the same thing. He really didn't mention anything, our any, was, any of the or, work that we did or any outstanding issues with the district. So, I was it on it or was it done? No, both of them were on it. As town council, I was on the agenda. I was on it. So it was simple, so it was um, we're still anxious or hopefully a positive of uh, uh, Mahoney who uh, still works with two of our academic I'm not exactly sure what the formal title is because he helped out, but uh, um, so he, answers, about, he answers the Berlin email very fast, yeah. Uh, well, uh, he responds because uh, he is in Maine, limited work, yeah. But uh, state bonds. A status, he still thinks that there's a with strong potential we will get a million dollars from this from the uh, state. This could be go to the Deming Road pump station, uh, specifically a uh, earmark for that. Um, and it was poised in such a fashion that a fashion that it, because it was with cooperative with NBC and actually serving the, the uh, communities of Rocky Hill and, and Newington, it sounded like a pretty good opportunity. So hopefully we'll see how that goes out. Uh, and the Deming Road pump station is still creating problems for us uh, physically. We had it pumped out. We were hoping that the drain gap to pumping it out on a monthly basis would be helpful. Apparently, that isn't the case. Uh, they're still having problems with it almost every other day. They're down there trying to replace or uh, pull out the pumps to finish off. So, uh, nothing new to report on that. We're still waiting for MDC. We did have a, a quick discussion with them. They were anxious to see if we would consider possibly um, uh, amortizing their portion of the funds because they were unprepared to provide us with funds for this year because they hadn't budgeted it. They've only budgeted a small amount this year, and so that they were trying to try to get the project to be delayed. We think we could fund the project mostly, and then they could pay us back a further portion of the time. The next fiscal year, which for them is the next calendar year. So we're, we're still trying to negotiate where we go with them. Uh -huh. And so I'd like to introduce to uh, if you go make a motion to go to executive session for the five minutes. Before we do, could I ask one quick question? Sure, please. Uh, did we ever get a contract with Cromwell Water? Yes. Uh, Cromwell Water, yes. The agreement we, we actually signed last year. Are you talking about that? Yeah. They're, they're, they're also, um, they're also, but I don't have any idea in terms of the timing. They're also looking at another connection with us down in East Berlin, which would be over at Stan Camp. 
that bridge fear. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm hoping that uh, they're looking at the TWS Rural loan too to, to make that connection. That would help us out because that would provide us with two connections to from to Crown Loan uh, and re fortify that you know, for a month. And if you recall, okay, that oh. this is going to end. Oh, so we might as well uh, make it official to go into executive session. Okay. Quickly. This way. Uh, I was just finishing time. Motion. Make a motion to go into executive session. Second. 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 <laughs> Second. 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 Bill. Barry. 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 Either arm. Barry or Bruce. All in favor, aye. 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 Contrary, nay. Okay. The regular meeting is uh, tabled until such time as we can.